Well, welcome once again. This is the Doctor of Digital, and how do I improve my creative writing? I've got 15 ways to improve your creative writing, and what do we have for today? This is way 10. Now, we've talked about some other things as well, but now we've got way 10. So follow along, and you'll be a much better writer as a result. And if you need some help, listen to the end of the show. I've got a special offer for, for you. So all of this, of course, is built on what I had done, Burning America and the Best Interests of the Children. And that might be helpful to check out because I've done the 12 stages of the hero's journey and also now on the 15 ways to improve your writing. So let's get started. And what we can do is talk about way 10 of the 15 ways to improve and develop your creative writing. Way 10 is synopsis, outline, or treatment. You've made it through the big day of structuring, and that's what we did on way nine. And you're into the home stretch of developing your concept into a tangible, and entertaining drama for the big screen. I'm very lucky. I actually like screenwriting. I rarely feel a sense of doom going to my desk. That's a quote from Simon Bufoy. And yeah, I can agree with that. People say a writer's block. Not me. I got a lot of ideas. Objective for way 10, to piece everything together to create your outline, synopsis, or treatment. Advice. No one writing process is the answer for everyone. Different writers will take different approaches. Some prefer to go in with no preparation at all, relying on their instincts to lead them. Others do as much preparation as they can with character backgrounds, detailed story maps, outlines, treatments, etc. What I'm focusing on now is just giving you enough to work from as we slowly transition into offering the tools that you can use while writing your script, as well as the business end of marketing a screenplay in the drama genre. The exercises you've done and the assignments you've completed have hopefully generated enough for you to take those tools and marketing skills forward. You've now created the core of what your drama will be. You've envisioned this concept, assigned a subgenre to it. You've created empathetic characters for the audience to experience the story through. You've injected as much conflict as you can into the story. And now you've taken all of that and started to actually see big chunks of the movie through your own mind's eye. Exercise. Gather all of your materials in form one two, or all of these three documents, depending upon how much or how little you want to prepare, outline extended synopsis treatment. An outline is generally a bullet point presentation of your story, covering almost every beat and sequence from beginning, middle, to end. As I've mentioned before, you should always leave room for discovery, so take comfort in knowing that this outline will not represent the end product 100%. Things will change. You will delete and add bullet points, and when you start writing, you will see the story continue to evolve as the suspense, characters, and plot lead you to where your drama story should go. An extended synopsis is just that, an extended version of the synopsis you wrote earlier. If you recall, we use the back of paperback novels as examples, and check out the one on Burning America, because that's a great example of a synopsis. The extended synopsis builds on that instead of using only those materials, but take that content and those materials that you've gathered up to now and take those instead of one paragraph, you can write three or more. Three is a good number to work from because each paragraph can represent an act. Paragraph one is the beginning. Paragraph two is the middle. Paragraph three is the end. You won't cover each and every beat that you've logged. Instead, you'll focus on the more important ones. A treatment is a combination of the bullet point outline and the extended synopsis. You will combine the two, writing out the whole story beat to beat, in literary form. Assignment, choose what type of document you would like to create, outline, extended synopsis, or treatment. You have the freedom of doing just one, two, or all three of them. You can also decide how much detail you want to put into each, depending on your own writing process. You will use these documents as a reference point as you actually begin writing or rewriting your screenplay.
And as you continue, you will be able to focus on adding tools to your drama screenwriting toolbox that you can apply to your own drama screenplay, as well as how you market them once you are finished. And of course, I can help you with the digital marketing, that component as well. So that's it for way 10 of the 15 ways to improve your creative writing. Now, if you've listened to the end, we've got a giveaway for you. And that is the 12 stage hero's journey by Joseph Campbell, which will help you to formulate a memoir, a novel, a short story, anything that is a creative writing. And that's it for this particular episode of Way 10. But you can get that download. I can send that to you. Let me know. And of course, pick up a copy of Burning America in the Best Interests of the Children because you will see the entire background of all this creative writing stuff. Until next time, we can do Way 11. This is it for the Doctor of Digital Podcast. Until next time, Deus Volt. <laughs>